In today's video, I want to introduce 5 scalping indicators on TradingView that are the best and most accurate indicators for scalping. The first one that I want to introduce is Absolute Strength Histogram. We add this one, Absolute Strength Histogram version 2, which is written by someone named Jie Honglim, if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. All right, this is the indicator, and it gives us a measure or a view on the absolute strength of movements in the market. As you can see, we have two lines here. One is green, and the other one is red and orange. The green one changes between dark green and light green. When it's dark green, like here, or for example, here, here or here it shows that the price is advancing and when it becomes light green like here or here it shows that the prior upside momentum is weakening which can be because of a pullback or it can be a sign for a reversal the distance from zero and also the steepness of the line shows the strength of the movement and similarly for this line when it's red like here or here or for example here it shows that the price is declining and when it becomes orange it tells us that the prior downtrend is weakening that could be just a pullback or it can be a sign for reversal when the red line crosses above the green line it's a sell signal and when the green line crosses above the red line it's a buy signal but not every crossover worth of trading and we need to filter the false signals we have also a histogram at the back of these two lines which shows the absolute strength in the market when the histogram is gray like in these parts that you see it shows flat market in other words not trending markets it can be during pullbacks like here which the market actually became flat or it can be also an extended period of flat market like here where the histogram is gray as you can see or for another example here where the market is flat and you can see that the histogram is gray and when the histogram becomes green it shows a strong advancing of the price and when it becomes red it shows strong declining of the price and similar to these two lines the histogram also changes color between dark and light green color or red and orange depending on the changes that are happening in the strength of the momentum this indicator is a very powerful tool for evaluating the strength of the movements in the market especially suitable for lower time frames by providing buy sell signals based on these two lines crossovers and also giving us information on the strength of the movements individually by the help of these two lines and also by the help of this histogram it gives us information on the absolute strength in the market Market. so we can know when the market is flat by having gray color in the histogram or when it's advancing or declining by having red or green color in the histogram all right the second indicator is tony ux ema scalper this one which is written by someone named tux all right this is the indicator and as you can see it's overlaid on the price chart in the form of some lines and buy sell signals let me change the settings of the indicator here in the style tab so we can better see them here for ema line we increase the opacity to 100 percent and also we increase the thickness of the line and similarly we do this for the other two lines All right, now it's better. This green line is the lowest close of the previous eight candles at any time. And this red line is the highest close of the previous eight candles. They are a kind of support and resistance levels. That's a very short term support and resistance levels. And actually they are dynamic support and resistance levels. This blue line is an exponential moving average with length of 20 by default. And when the price crosses the EMA and it's in an uptrend, it shows a buy signal and when it's in a downtrend it shows a sell signal not all of these buy sell signals are worth of trading and you can see that we have many false signals because this is in a very short term view and all these noises are playing in this indicator you can increase the length of ema here in the input step for example let's increase it to 100 and now you can see that many of the false signals are removed but still we have false signals so we need to have another indicator another trend indicator that shows the overall trend so we can filter the signals that are against the trend as i said these uh, green and red lines are dynamic support and resistance levels which are useful for setting stop losses for example if you entered a long position here based on this buy signal you can set your stop loss here below this uh, support level or if you entered a short position here you can set your stop loss here above this resistance level and because it's a dynamic support and resistance levels you can also use it for trailing stop losses even if you don't don't want the buy sell signals of this indicator or they are not matched with your trading strategy here in the settings here in the style tab you can remove the signals 
and also the EMA line. And you can use this indicator as a dynamic support and resistance levels, which is useful for setting your stop losses in your scalping trading strategies. All right, the next indicator that I want to introduce is Coral Trend Indicator. This one, which is written by Lazy Bear. All right, this is the indicator. And as you can see, it's overlaid on the price chart in the form of consecutive green and red dots. When it's green, it shows uptrend. And when it's red, it shows downtrend. And it's a perfect tool for showing us the current trend of the market and filtering the false signals that happen during the pullbacks, like the false signals that we had with the other two indicators I explained. Uh, the color changing of this indicator can also provide buy sell signals for example when it becomes green at say buy signal like here or here and when it becomes red at say sell signal but you need more confirmation because these color changings can also be false signals like here so this should be used as part of your reversal trading strategy in case if you want to use these color changings for entering in the market here in the settings here in the input step if we increase the smoothing period for example let's set it at 100 our trend line line becomes smoother and it shows longer term trend of the market but for scalping the default setting is good since in scalping trading strategies we are more interested in shorter term movements of the market the next indicator that I want to introduce is Squeeze Index. This one, which is a free indicator from Lux Algo, and it's a very good indicator to show us when the market is not trending and when the market is trending. It doesn't tell us anything about the direction, but only shows us if the market is trending or not trending. When it's above ATN red, it shows that the market is in a squeeze mode. In other words, it's flat and not trending. And when it's below 80, it shows that the market is trending. For scalping trading strategy here in its settings for convergence factor we set it at 30 which is better for short time frames and you can see that now it's better matched with flat and non-flat market this is a very good indicator to be used in scalping trading strategies because knowing if the market is trending or not trending is very important since many of the false signals happen during non-trending market and the last indicator I want to introduce is Volume Composition, this one, which is an editor specs indicator and written by someone named Quantify Tools. All right, this is the indicator. And as the name indicating, it gives us information about volume. But this is not an ordinary volume indicator. And it's an advanced indicator that gives precise information about what is happening with the volume. I have a complete guide on this indicator. The link is also placed in the description of this video. And I highly recommend you to watch it because volume analysis can play a key role in your scalping strategies. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.